So hey, welcome to these 40 Days of Stewardship, where we are going to build spiritual disciplines that will help us to become better managers and multipliers of the resources that God has given us. Each day I'm going to come alongside you and give you three things. One is going to be a Bible verse to meditate on. The second one is a daily stewardship tip that's going to kind of instruct you and equip you. And then the third thing is an action step to take every day. Now today's video is going to be the longest of the 40. I promise you that. But today is important. It's foundational because if we're going to be good stewards, not only for these 40 days, but beyond for the rest of our lives, we've got to answer a very important question. Why are we doing this? And, and I think the answer to that question of why comes as we define two words that Paul gives us in 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 1 and 2. Listen as I read them. It says, This is how one should regard us, as servants of Christ and, servant and stewards of the mysteries of God. Moreover, it is required of stewards that they be found faithful. So let's define those two words. One is the word steward, and the other one is the word faithful. So let's first take the word faithful. Faithful means that when someone entrusts something to you, they can count on you to not only finish, but to finish well. You hold up your end of the bargain. And the Bible says that God wants to find us faithful. So now let's take that second word, stewardship. A steward is someone who has been entrusted with someone else's possessions. He is a manager, an overseer. But he's more than just a manager. He's a multiplier. He wants to make sure that whatever he's been given, that he can be fruitful, that he can make it into more. And so the Bible tells us that God wants us to have a relationship with him in which we are his faithful stewards. So here's our concept. God is the creator of all things. Nothing that we have is exclusively our own. It's all his. And he has entrusted us as stewards to be managers, but multipliers of, of all the things that he's given to us. And we see this concept from the beginning of the Bible. God puts Adam and, and Eve in the garden, and they are to not only tend and to keep it, but to be fruitful and to multiply and spread it around the face of the earth. And then think about how the Bible ends, not with a garden, but with this incredible city where man dwells with God forever. One of my favorite definitions of stewardship is found at a great website that I refer to often called the Theology of Work Project. I have a a link for you in the comments below. But but listen to their definition of stewardship. This is this is what it says. Stewardship is obedience to God's mandate to increase his creation from something like a garden to something like a city, all the while remembering it is his. So think about all that you have. First of all that God has entrusted to you, but think about everything that you have not only managing it well, but growing it from the concept of something like a garden where it's usable and feasible, but something that comes incredibly resourceful and multiplies like a city where others can even get involved in it. So let's get back to that first question. What's your why? Let me, let me go through a couple of motives and see if, if one of these may fit you as the reason why you're going to get involved in these 40 days of stewardship. Is it to relieve money stress? That's a that's a pretty good reason to get involved in this. And money stress can be, bring stress into marriage. It can have negative effects on your health. It can affect your family, your business. Man, money stress is, is not fun at all. And we're going to help that along the way. Um, is it so that maybe you can pay off some debt and build some savings? That's a really good reason for doing this. And we're going to help that as well. How about uh, maybe just getting some things together in your home? Maybe you got some things laying around you're not using anymore and you just need to organize better or to, to sell some things so that you can have a little more money in hand. 
we're, I, I'm going to give you some challenges along the way that are going to help that too. Maybe it's this, man. You're just miserable at work. You, you need to take a new a next step, maybe a new attitude. But, man, you wake up every day just not wanting to do this. Guess what? Along the way of these 40 days of stewardship, we're going to talk about work and how to make every day of work more meaningful in your life. So just hang with it. But our why has to be bigger than all of those things. Actually, our why needs to be something that all of those things kind of serve, all of those things fit into. So what's our why? Here it is. If if our, our why has to go back to the biblical reasons, because we want to be found faithful. We want to be stewards who please God. So if you're going to hang with this for 40 days, and not only 40 days, but for the rest of your life, there's going to be some days that are not very motivating and not very fun. So, so what's going to keep you going through those things? That why of wanting to be someone who pleases God has got to be at the forefront. If you're going to break bad habits and build better habits, that takes a lot of discipline, a lot of, a lot of hard work, a lot of tough decisions. If you're going to hang with it, again, your why has got to be, I want to be a faithful steward who pleases God. So here's our challenge today. Commit. Just put your yes on the table. Uh, along the way, we're going to talk about some things that are going to be stewardship concepts, but if your why is, I want to be a faithful steward who pleases God, this is really going to be about building our faith, about growing in our trust, about getting to know the Lord. So today, please, just say yes. Commit to this along the way. Join me every day, whether you're watching this on our My LBC app, on the YouTube channel, or on one of our Facebook pages. I encourage you, tune in a lot, uh, every day, meditate on the scripture, take the stewardship tip, and that daily challenge, that, that decision that I'm going to uh, challenge you to. And, and if you hang with this, we're going to build those spiritual disciplines that help us to be those faithful stewards who please God.